Right there, right there. Put it down, put it down, put it, put it down. Body over. Oh, there you have it. Right off the damn. Oh my god. People are flying through the air dead. Ring around the rosies. Oh, dude, you check. There you have it. Man, I told you. Oh. You're dead, dude. That's what you get. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. My name is Jeff Aviano, and this is LSPDFR. Today, we're doing a patrol out on the highway. We're actually on US Route 13 right now doing some uh, SAHP. And uh, we can actually do highway patrol again because now LSPDFR 0.3.1 was released. And they fixed the issue with when you're in a backup or when you're in a uh, traffic stop that cars won't be doing crazy U-turns. So that's really actually exciting stuff. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'm on the latest version of the game, 617 with uh, Rage Plug and Hook 36. I was kind of strong armed into doing it because the game kept crashing. I don't know what happened with some uh one of the new plugins or something who knows i i tried everything i tried taking things out and everything else and it just kept crashing so i had to this guy's all over the road up here uh so i had to pretty much just take matters in my own hands and reinstall everything so it wasn't very fun as you can imagine we're pulling this guy over now let's see if he'll listen uh, he did a little bit there that was pretty good oh come on dude oh wrong wrong button there we go uh, again, had to reinstall everything. So if some things are a little off, it's not the end of the world. Um, but I did remove Pinnacle. I'm not using Pinnacle anymore. I'm just using Visual 5 and Radiance 5. And I'm using the very bright setting of Radiance 5, if you're wondering. So we're going to be out with this uh, Saddler. Let's go ahead and get a play check on him. Uh, 27 Union Nora Sam 500. Looks, looks like it's occupied times one, from what I can tell here. Let's see if he comes back on plate. that plate. Two seven Union Nora Sam five zero zero no ten ninety nine. No ten ninety nine on Diego Santos, but it looks like he might be drinking and driving today. We're about to find out, actually. Um, keep in mind, I I, I turned off my uh, my uh, wigwag lights there before I approached, just because it looks kind of ridiculous during the day on certain models. Well, we might turn it back on in your minute. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hey, what's up? I uh, pulled you over because you're all over the road. Any reasons for that? Nothing? We're not even going to get a Kiflom out of this? I mean, we know that the driver seems drowsy. Kiflom. Okay, there's the Kiflom. He just didn't say anything on the first one. That was very strange. All right, Diego, just stand. Sit tight. Be right back with you. <laughs> I said Sant tight because <laughs> of uh, Santos. Diego Santos. That's a pretty easy one to remember. Mr. Diego. Let's go ahead and run his name. So, Diego Santos. Anywho, happy Monday to all you guys. I hope your weekend was good. I had a good weekend. I had a lot of fun. Hung out with some friends. Uh, valid 27, negative 99. All's looking well here. We are going to breathalyze him. Rush. We're going to uh, question him about his driving style today. All right, Diego, everything uh, checks out good there. A little dry, a uh, little drowsy. And the reason why I pulled you over because you're all over the woad. Uh, do you have, have you been drinking anything today? Only a few. Okay, I mean, I understand. We're going to go ahead and uh, breathalyze you. See what's up. Make sure you're not lying to us. Oh, my Lord. He blew a 0.113 <laughs> uh, in BAC. These are in pro miles. Always in pro miles. Uh, but whenever the mod turns red, that's bad. So 1.13. Pretty, pretty bad. So hop on out, Diego. Yeah, you're trashed. I know. We just had to pull you over because you're crazy acting. Okay, that's not working. I can't arrest him. I'm just going to have to moron. pull the E button, maybe? Pull the E. Wow. Is this broken with the new version of LSPDFR? I cannot arrest this dude. Huh. That's a strange one for me. Very strange one. Let's see if we can arrest him the old-fashioned way. Let's hope. All right. Down on the ground. Idiot. Down on the ground. That's just... I don't know what happened. I can't make the old-fashioned arrests. Or I, mean, I can only do the old-fashioned. I can't do the new one. You picked the okay. No, nope, it's working. There. Maybe you have to be in a certain spot. I'm not too sure. So, Diego Santos. No problem there. Hey, Diego. Just uh, follow me really quick. Whoa off the road so we don't get hit by a car if you don't mind and uh anything illegal on you need to know about 
I'm gonna search you right now, and if I find anything, it's gonna be bad. No, I didn't cancel the search. You just ran off like an idiot. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't seem to work anymore, does it? Nope. Man. Can't frisk him. There it goes. Wow, just all sorts of weird stuff with this new a Kevlar vest. Yeah, it seems legit. I'm sure he had a Kevlar vest on him. All right, dude. Let's put you in the back of the vehicle. He's going to be going to jail for DUI. Jay Criminy. Hop on Get in. in the car and behave. All right. Man, that's so scary whenever you're out on a traffic stop. In real life, it's like that for them, too, for officers. All right, let's go ahead and search the vehicle. Okay, that's working. Yeah, Ridge Plug and Hook 36 is kind of weird so far for me. A Zippo lighter. Uh, I get asked questions all the time, um, and one of them is, why can't you search the back doors you can only search one side of the car at a time a jam sniper rifle and a package of erasable pens okay well we'll just not worried about the sniper rifle so much as maybe he has a permit for it who knows it's not what we're looking for anyway man this the animation is just getting ridiculous <laughs> uh pair of sunglasses so everything was fine there can't be too upset about that we will call for the tow truck to pick this thing up Simple impounding of his uh, vehicle for uh, reasons. There we go. Of, uh, you know, drinking and driving, and you can't be doing that. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Got the wigwags on that end. All right. Tow truck's on scene to pick him up. We're going to take him down to the station ourselves, actually. And uh, we will be uh, code four off of that. Pretty simple uh, traffic stop. Just, uh, you know, the guy was all over, all over the world. We pulled him over. And our suspicions were correct. He was drinking and driving. All right, first one of the day. I'm going to take him myself. Uh, the rest of the day, we're probably going to use uh, prisoner transport because we need to be out on the roads and not worry about anything else so much. Uh, and uh, there you have it. He was uh, drinking and driving, and uh, now he gets to go to jail. So uh, hopefully uh, he learned his lesson and he won't kill anybody out on the roads today. All right, we just got 11 mile an hour over the limit there on that thrust. This bike up here on the right, so we're gonna catch up to him and uh, stop him. 11 over the limit is pretty fast. I mean, it's not crazy, and he has a helmet on, so he is being safe, but just not safe enough today. Not safe enough. All right, what's he gonna do? Gonna pull over that way? Very nice. Let's just move him off the road completely. All the way to the side next to the bushes, please. Perfect. Very nice job on that stop. All right, so pretty simple stuff. Let's go ahead and run his plate. Let's see if anything comes back on that. It's just looking like a simple ticket here. 11 over the limit. Uh, 80 William Ida Tom 019. Occupy times one. 80 William Ida Tom 019. Fields Brock. No, okay, so he looks all clear here. Let's just talk to him. Hello, sir. How you doing today? I pulled you over because you're doing 11 over the limit. So, uh, let's uh, go ahead and say just hello to him. Hey. Hey. Got ID on you? Get love. Let's get some ID from the guy. Actually, those, uh, those wigwags look pretty good. So I'm going to keep them on today. All right, Fields, just sit tight. Be right back with you. All right, so Fields Brock is his name. Speeding is his game. Fields Brock. Brock. See if comes back on that. Valid 27, no 99. We have no reasons to believe he's up to no good, so we're just going to simply give him a uh, citation. Simple as that. Alrighty. Well, I mean, I'm just going to give you a simple citation, 11 over the limit. Uh, we'll give him, what, 200 bucks for that. It, it differs from state to state, so I, don't, <laughs> I understand, you know, that it may be $100 in one state and 350 in another. It depends. Oh, Ticket reasons. Oh, wow. Very cool. Chris, oh, I meant speeding, but oops. No big deal. All right. So that's a simple citation for uh, 11 of the limit. You know, it's, it's always nice whenever you get uh, traffic stops that don't result in anything uh, crazy. And uh, hopefully he'll learn his lesson and uh, he'll keep it slowed down. Attention. 
Attention all units. Citizens report a civilian in need of assistance. Okay, police impersonator uh, call coming over the radio Rock now. 68. Let's go ahead and respond to that. Code 2 high. Or they want code 3. Okay, so we'll respond to that code 3, actually. Okay, they're listening in there. I'm going to go ahead and kill our sirens since there's nobody on this road, like, ever. Um, I do want to see the uh, police impersonator because Stealth told me uh, that he's worked on that. And this is the newer version of it, so... Let's see how, uh, if there's any variations to it or anything like that. This routing down here is pretty crazy though, I gotta tell you. All right, I'm gonna be right up here. Off this road. Uh-huh. Right up here. Will they open this for us? Open, open. No, nope, not gonna open it, as usual. Have to just crash right through it. All right, that vehicle moved out of our way. That's good. To be up here around the corner. All right, what do we got? What is this thing? Oh, one of the Chevy Volt looking cars. What's going on? Uh, oh, geez, officer. Glad to see you. I drove. Uh, this guy drove up behind me and started flashing his high beams. He put his hand out the window, showing me a badge. I pulled over. He got out and started yelling at me. Told me he was a cop and to get out of the car. He said I was an illegal alien and I was under arrest. Sir, I was born in this country. I'm an American citizen. I told him to fuck off and he pulled out a gun. Uh-oh. So I hit the gas and got the fuck out of there. But yeah, about his car. It wasn't a police car. Uh, yep. Graphite color Granger. Okay. Last three digits. License plate were 018. Alright, we'll, we'll go look for it. Westbound on, uh, Route 68. Alright, last seen on 68 actually. Let's go ahead and light up. We're going to roll code three over that way since it's going to take us a minute to get there. And uh, this guy pulled a gun on this guy, so we want to get him off the roads as uh, quickly as possible. Oh, they already put this back up. Boy, they are fast, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, just move all this stuff out of the way. No big deal. <laughs> get off my car. Thank you very much. Okay, west on 68. So they're headed towards us, apparently. What it's looking like. Okay, people are moving out of our way. That's always nice. All right, let's see if that is the case. If they are actually headed our way, I'm not sure. But I think it's eastbound. Oh, no, maybe they are coming our way. Graphite colored Granger. That looked like it right there, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Let's flip around on it. Nope. It's behind us. Okay, he's westbound, so he is headed towards us. So we're just going to sit on the side of the road and wait for him to come to us. I think it's that vehicle right there behind this Canis that's behind the uh, RV. Let's see if that is the case. What was it? Oh, he just turned off on us. Okay. He might have just seen our car sitting up here and decided to turn off the road. So let's catch up to him really quick here. Okay. Thanks there, buddy. Move out of the way. Suspect scene. Yep. There he is right there. On, uh, route okay, which way is he going to go? Go right. This little jerk right here in front of me just let me conduct my police business. Get the hell out of the way, lady. Oh, man. All right. She's just going to follow that guy. Nope. She's going that way now. Okay, good. All right. So this is definitely him. Let's go ahead and run that plate. Let's see if it's a zero one eight to me. Yes, it is. Lighten him up right here. Let's see if he listens. Okay, he pulled off the road a little bit there. They had a, they pulled a gun on somebody, so this is going to be a felony stop on this vehicle. All right, very cool. All right, so we're going to be out with this Granger. Let's uh, go ahead and pop out really fast and call for two additional code threes. We're going to hold a pistol out here on this one. Not sure what to expect from this call out. Like I said, you know, Stealth has updated these. So we're waiting for our backup to arrive on scene, and we're going to... There they are right there. All righty. Out of the car. Out of the car. LSPD, okay, don't make nope. me shoot you. Nope. Remember, he's armed. One of the security officers. There it is. All right, down to the ground you go. Going in for the arrest. One Lincoln 18, show us one in custody. Cody Carter. Attention All right, Cody. 10, follow, follow me this way. No Cody Carter. All right, Cody. 
Cody Carter. Go, definitely going to jail for not only police impersonation, but, you know, pulling a weapon on somebody like that. Valid 27, no warrants for his arrest. Let's go ahead and set him down back here by our car. By the Joshua tree. Those units got here on, you know, pretty quick. That was pretty nice of them. All right, let's see if we can set him down. Come here. Yep, set down on the ground. Thank you very much. Let's conduct a uh, search on his vehicle. Uh, actually, you know what? Before then, let's just go ahead and call the uh, transport unit to pick him up. Assistance needed for a suspect placed under arrest on um, Route 68. See if we find anything here. Right here they are right here. Transport. Glasses case. What's up? Got one for you here. Police impersonator with uh, yielding a gun at people. So be sure to check him before you get and put him in your car, there, buddy. All right. All right. So a bag of groceries we got over here on this side. Nice. Broken brake light. So nothing in the vehicle, but Later. we will go ahead and tow it. Get this thing off the road. And uh, that's pretty much it. That wasn't too bad. I mean, uh, you know, we we showed up on scene to the uh, 911 caller about a police impersonator. Um, we were able to track that vehicle down here on Highway 68. They were headed westbound right towards us, actually. It looked like they might have saw our vehicle and then just kind of ducked off. So we followed behind him. We pulled him over, performed a uh, felony stop on him, and uh, he'll go to jail. And uh, hopefully uh, he won't be disturbing any more residents out here. Alert Ooh, okay, we'll take one of these. Got a, with a deadly weapon. Ooh, a solid, a deadly, deadly weapon, a vehicle. Looks like it might be on this road, actually. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. So let's head over here. It's coming right at us, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's this rebel. Attention, this is dispatch. Approach with caution. All right, if he, he probably knows he's gonna get pulled over now. Wow, that Canis was going quick there. Let's try not to get killed here or tailing this dude. Yeah, wow. He made a decision there last minute. He was going to go this way, so. Let's go ahead and get this guy. And light him up. You be careful here with this. Let's get him off the road. So no one gets killed. Let's be careful here. Never know what you're going to get on these kind of... Uh, these kind of pullovers. 43 Quebec George X ray 245 occupy times one. Vehicle with underglow there. I love that. Target license plate. 43 Queen George X ray 245. Well, there you have it. Issued. All right, felony warrant. We're going to proceed with caution, so we're going to get Attention, two code threes We've got an and order this guy out of the vehicle. In Zancudo River. Dispatch. Ocean one responding. Okay, here they come right here. Driver of the vehicle, out. Out with your hands up, Stop. get on the ground. Police. Lay on the ground, lay on the ground. Don't run. We All right, wow. Those are always good. Um, Road. All right, one Lincoln 18, got one in custody. That was pretty uh, easy. Hades beats. Hades beats. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. Oh, I know I did that one wrong because I put apostrophe in there. Hey, this is beats. Um, you know, uh, sometimes, oh, yep, there you have it. He does have a, uh, he does have a warrant for his arrest. All right, dude. Well, we're going to search you. Make sure you don't have anything oh on you. Then I'm going to put him in the back of my car, and we're going to search his vehicle, see if there's anything here. Nothing of interest on him. We'll call a prisoner transport for him. Open the door for him. There you go, bud. Have a seat. Get in the car and behave. All right. So he's in his, he's in my vehicle now. We'll continue our uh, investigation on this. I mean, I was really expecting more of a fight, to be honest. Although I'm not really sure I've been I'm thinking that maybe I mean I know the proper procedure would be to do a you know perform a felony stop on somebody like that but uh, to be honest 
I think it's, I don't think that the script knows to do that. So I think you have to approach it like it's a uh, normal traffic stop and then maybe they'll take off or pull a gun or do whatever they're going to do. So nothing in there, but some random garbage. So we'll call for a tow truck for this thing. We will call for a uh, prisoner transport to pick him up. Okay, looks good. Call PT. Assistance needed for a suspect placed under arrest. And uh, we'll be code four off of this soon. Queen two, we are on our way. All right, tow truck's here. He's got that. And here comes the unit to pick this guy up. So. Thanks for the uh, fun there, buddy. You get to go to jail. Hey, what's up? All right, so he's out of the vehicle. He's going to jail. Uh, you know, one of those uh, NPR hits in the area just alerted us that, uh, you know, the guy was wanted. We pulled him over, had no issues. He uh, complied. He'll go to jail for his uh, warrant. One, Lincoln, 18, respond code three. All right, we're going to be responding code three to a domestic disturbance. Not sure uh, where it's at. It's down here in the Harmony area. See if we can catch up. Okay, buddy. Yeah, just pull on out of there when you see a car flying at you with lights and siren. All right. No, not going to stop there, lady. Come on. All right. Right around the corner here. So it's right over here. There's people out front. Yep. Got a whole group of people. T to talk to the caller. When finished, press end to end the call out. All right. Let's just go ahead and talk to these people. Hey, how's it going? What's 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 the deal here today? Nothing. T, he's not the caller, I guess. Nope, he's not the caller. So maybe this person is the caller. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Oh, officer, something tra tragic has happened. Okay, my precious little Fluffles has run away again. Um, it's an emergency. Can you, you simply must help me find him? Really? And we get to film that shit on top of that. So, guy missing his dog. Is that it? Is that really what you're going to tell me here today? I guess so. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> that shit ain't real. Yeah, it's not real. Show me 10-8. Okay, we're getting uh, reports of narcotics in transit. We are going to try to see if we can uh, intervene with that vehicle. It looks like they're all up here in the same area today, just by the Redwood Lights track is what it's looking like. I'm going to go ahead and flip my lights on here real fast and just try to get off the road. Because, I mean, the spawn points out here in, the, uh, in this area are not very good. And it looks like he's going to take that. Yeah, I think he is going to take that way in towards uh, Los Santos. About to find out here. All right, what do we got? Let's go ahead and uh, watch, turn our lights on, maybe they'll listen. Yeah, they're good there. All right, very cool. Wanna listen to that Crown Vic sound. Still have our lights on, so people are listening right now. Getting a little bit closer. All right, leads up here a little bit further. All right, might be this uh, vehicle right here, or Attention. yeah, this it's the felon. Dispatch. Approach with caution. Approach with caution. All right, we will. All right, let's go ahead and uh, perform a traffic stop on them. Hopefully, they get off the road all the way, and they won't. So we'll move them ourselves. All right, there's going to be it. So this is uh, known narcotics trafficking. So we're about to find out what's going on with this. Let's run that plate. 24 Boy Paul. Henry 109. Let's see if anything comes back on it. Suspect's license plate. 24 Boy Paul. Henry Madison Rowdy. Zero nine, no 1099. No 1099. Okay. So let's find out what's going on here. It's a normal traffic stop. No big deal. Hello. How you doing today? My name's Jeff with the uh, SAHP. We taking off. All right. In, She's taking uh, off. Hill. Let's 
Let's move people out of the way. Watch for her dropping stuff out of the vehicle. We're going to let a uh, local Suspect unit know that we have a pursuit going here. Sonora Road in uh, Vinewood Hills. All right. Yep, we're going to be on Sonora Road. There was right there. She dropped something out of the side of the window. Let's let another unit know what's going on. Yep, there's one right here. Whoa, she got really dicey with him. Let's move out of the way. Still looking out for any uh, narcotics being thrown out of that vehicle right now. As it heads into Los Santos, it's going to get a little more dangerous. Yep, they are getting much faster. There's some drugs right there. What? We hit the drugs and drove over them like crazy. Okay, okay. Okay, lady. All right, I see how you want to play this. She's getting a little aggressive. What do we got here? What is this dude doing? No. What the fuck, dude? Right here. Out of the car. No, get out of that. Out of the car. Out of the car, lady. On the ground. On the ground. On the ground. Don't do anything stupid. All right, she's giving up. Right here underneath her car. If it'll let me arrest. Nope, won't let me arrest. It's going to do that instead. There we go. Wow. All right. Yeah, we saw evidence she was throwing out. We're going to go back and get it. Damage the front of my car when I hit the package drugs. That wasn't very legit at all. Come here. Anything legal on you? I'm going to search you before I put you in my car. Hello. How rude. How rude. Well, narcotics trafficking is going to get you this, lady. Let's put her in the car. Get in the car and behave. Come on. In the car. No, not going to get in the car. In the car. There we go. That damage to the front of the car hitting a hitting cardboard box. All right. Let's see here. No, it looked like a cardboard box. We'll search this side. Oh, just had a cloud shadow. Digital camera. Anything back here in the trunk. Let's see if she has drugs. I do like that the newer version of the uh, search, a number one dad mug, <laughs> uh, that the search really does uh, decent stuff instead of just giving you packaged drugs all the time. Bloody Swiss Army Knife. Hmm, that's an interesting one if you ask me. All right, we'll call for a tow truck to pick this thing up, and then we're going to go back and try to get her some, uh, get some evidence on her to take her to jail. So that's good there. Let's go ahead and walk back to our vehicle. Look at that. You just, just destroyed that bumper. All right. Tow truck's here. Going to take the felon away. And we're going to take this felon to where they dropped off the... Uh, they dropped their drugs out of the car. And see if we can uh, charge them with some more stuff. All right. There's the first package right there. Let's just go ahead and flip our lights on and get out and get this thing. And here comes the tow truck. Okay, then we got that. A quantity of drugs. Get out of the road before we get hurt. And then we're going to head down here and uh, get the rest of it. All right, it was this area right over here where she threw the other drugs. That area is right there. It's like money, but it's probably a small, small amount of drugs. Usually what that is. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good size. All right, I think we've got everything. I don't think she threw anything else out. We will uh, head back to where we initiated the traffic stop, see if she threw anything else, like, at the traffic stop area. All right, we didn't find anything there, so what we're going to do is pull off here. We're going to call for the uh, prisoner transport for her, and we're going to take her to jail. So, we'll call for that. A suspect placed under arrest on a Sonora Road. Which they should be here any minute. The there they are right here. Whoa. Yeah, thanks for hitting my car. I mean, it hasn't been through hell today or anything. A-hole. A-hole. Have a good one. Take care. Rowdy. All right. Let's take her to jail. To court. Traffic officer 1 Lincoln 18 presented two pieces of evidence to the court. The driver, Madison Rowdy, was found guilty of dangerous driving, resisting arrest, and medium-scale drug dealing. What else? Uh, she was jailed for 11 years as a result. So we got her for 11 years, and we missed one piece of evidence. I don't know where it was. 
It must have been very small. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. All right, code four on that. Guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of uh, Highway Patrol. Uh, it's not always shoot them up, you know, call outs and uh, in pursuits and everything. Uh, it's kind of nice to have a quiet day once in a while. Uh, we'll return back to the city uh, on Wednesday down into uh, the heart of the city. Probably do a downtown patrol or something like that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Take care.